I was in the middle of a motel in Australia while I was traveling and I was getting a flare on my eyes, no idea why. And I just put my shoulders down and I was like, it's okay, went to the bathroom, had a little chit chat with myself. The mindset call with Mandy about acceptance and resilience. It reminded me of the vibe about talking to yourself as if you were talking to your own version when you were little and at the same time having that resilience talking from a place of love more than angry frustrated and upset that we all have the right to feel because it is a very hard time to deal with flares in different type parts of our body not having good sleep so i understand because i've been there and i've reacted in a way several times in the past but once i swap that reaction and I switched the mindset to a place of love, a place of understanding. My body was trying to talk to me. My body is constantly trying to talk to me with different things, trying to tell me that something is not right, that there is something that I have to keep an eye on. Um, we see it on our skin and we just see these allergies, flares, whatever it is that we're going through, but it's just our bodies trying to communicate with us. And I think once I understood that, it helped a lot the healing and my flirts didn't get as intense I had a little chit chat with myself and i was like this is okay i'm safe it's gonna pass this is temporary i know my body is trying to talk to me trying to tell me something i just still don't know what it is and yeah i just had a good bread work session and by the next day when i woke up instead of having my eyes all swollen, barely being capable of opening. They were still red, like I had a flare, but they were not the tiniest, like not swollen at all, which was shocking for me. Because usually with a big flare, the day after I will wake up and I will be like barely opening my eyes because of the, how swollen they were. So that was a big turning point knowing that by the way I reacted to a flare, it affected a lot, particularly my eyes. The aha moment was when I felt ready to trust my body to heal. I was again traveling in New Zealand and after using steroids and prednisone for the previous month, I land in New Zealand, go to a public bathroom, wash my face, got a flare. <laughs> Literally, the water in the public bathroom gave me a flare. I went again the next day and exactly the same thing happened. I was like, okay, went to the supermarket, bought a water bottle and just rinsed my face with that. And I was like, I'm not going to use my steroid. I have it right here. I'm not going to use my prednisone because now I know I can do it. And my eyes were the red and swollen were gone in a matter of days. And then it was a very long, flaky, dry process of healing. But since then, I have not used them anymore. I have not had a flare. That was my last flare in my eyes. And that was four months ago. So trusting that I could heal, that helped a lot.